lovelies, welcome to this week's episode from Tough Rocks HQ. In this week's episode, we're going to be painting some dogs or rock doggos or whatever you want to call them, but dogs, those four-legged friends that keep us company. Before we begin this week's project, if you could subscribe and click that little notification bell, I'd really appreciate that very much. So you've heard me say before, rocks for me are quite scarce right now so again this week i've made my own i've used these three different shape rocks details of the mold that i've used for these i will give you after i've done the project i was talking to my grandson on the weekend and i've actually found out that we both like exactly the same dog and that's included in one of the projects today so I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'm just going to ask you to come with me and check out these three fabulous rock doggos. Come on then. Okay, so it's time for this big red dog. Now I'm going to use this thick black pen just to draw the outline. You can do yours in pencil. So his ear is going to follow kind of the shape of the rock like so. And then we're going to put two eyes, both of them on the front here, even though he's a side on looking one. And the nose on the end here, kind of triangle-ish, but with rounded corners. And then, of course, we're going to put his mouth. What I'm going to do now is just paint the big pieces in. I'm not going to paint the mouth. Um, when you guys come to do your mouth, if you, after you've done it with your pencil, it just go over it very, very thin brush and it should work perfect for you. Believe it or not, that is pretty much done. All that this needs doing now is some little highlights on the eyes which I'll put on when they dry. I've also got a picture tutorial of this on our website for you. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Now it's time to paint the highlights on the little dog's eyes. What I'm going to use is one of those um, barbecue type skewer things. I cut the pointy end off and I'm just going to use the blunt end. I'm going to dip it in my white paint. So that's one bit. Now what I'm going to do is use the pointy end to add a smaller one. And this one is done. Now, there's a story out there about the Big Red Dog. I think we all know his name. This would be a nice simple one for your story stones. little puppy here is also a nice easy one. I'm going to start here and do two big swooping lines for use. I'm going to give my dog collar as well whilst I'm here. Eyes now and a muzzle. This is actually going to be a snout, not a muzzle as such. Okay, so let's get on with some painting. I'm going to use dark brown for both of his ears and I'm going to make sure that I go right to the back of my rock. So far, so good. He looks a bit weird right now, but trust me, he's going to look brilliant in a minute. I'm going to give these a chance to dry and I'm going to paint on his collar. I'm going to give him a nice red one. Doesn't look like much right now, but it will soon, I promise. Now, black is going to be too dark in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my own grey. So 
so far so good for the eyes I'm just going to use black we're going to be putting some highlights on this so it'll be fine and then when all that's dry I'll be back to fill in some more time for some detail on this little man we're going to start with an upside down triangle for his nose when you're doing your triangle try and do the the pointy bits rounded yes I am using a pen you guys can do it much easier with me with a thin paintbrush now from the middle we're gonna come down and around to the one side then again from the middle follow the same line we're gonna come down and around to the other side what you can also do if you like is put some dots where his whiskers would be then I'm gonna go around this now You'll have to excuse me guys one of the bulbs are blown in my lamps okay let's tidy up his collar so we're going to add some extra detail in now i have noticed that he doesn't have he's got a collar but he doesn't have a tag so let's give him one of those now we're going to do the eyes barbecue stick Big bit here, big bit there, and then a smaller piece. And that, my lovelies, is him almost done. This next one is a full-size dog I'm not going to mention what kind of dog it is if you do know and it actually looks like it let me know in the comments below so as you can see I've already done my pencil drawing but for you guys I'm now going to go around this in black Now, I might have realised that I just said full-size dog is actually a full-on dog, not a full-size dog. Now, even though I've done my detail as well, albeit as simple as possible, I'm going to be painting over the inside of this anyway in white. What I'm also going to be doing is painting half of this in green for some grass and then the rest of it in blue. As you can see here, I'm going over my lines a bit. That's purely more accident than design. But I'm not going to worry because when I come back, I'm going to be redoing the outline anyway. I'm just going to cheat a little bit here. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of sunshine on. It's a last minute decision and I'm going to use a pen. I completely appreciate that you guys might not want to sit there and watch me paint in the rest of this blue so I'm just going to get straight on and do this. So this little guy has had his first coat. As you can see I've made a little bit of a mess here and about but all the inside here is going to be painted white anyway. So I'm just going to wait for this, give it a second coat and I'll be right back with you. So now you guys if you've got a paintbrush and white paint Let's go over the dog. I'm going to use a paint pen, honestly, because it's much quicker for me and it dries a lot faster. And if you go over any of the outlines that you've already done, then don't worry about it because we're going over those again. Now, 
Well, our little dog is coming along really well. So I'm going to take this moment to colour in his nose. And now redo the outline. Now what you can do if you want to is you can go around the sun, you can add some blades of grass, the choice is completely yours but me, I love this little dude just as he is. So what did we think of them? Two fantastically simple ones and one a little bit more challenging for you. Let's have a look. So here is our big red dog. Of course, you can change these to whichever color that you like. I might have mentioned in the video that there's a link for a picture tutorial of this over on our website. I'll put that in the description box below. Then we have this one, the little brown doggo. He's just so cute. Again, so simple which is what I like to make sure that our tutorials are for you. Sometimes they're a little bit challenging, but he's fabulous. I love him to bits. I also love his little collar with the fabulous little studs on it. Love it. And then of course we have the puppy. Now he has to be my favorite. I'm going to gift this one to my grandson. After all, it was a conversation that he and I had, so I think he deserves it, don't you? I do. So the moulds then for these, okay, this one, and I don't know if I can have this one the right way up. This one, and this one came from one mold and it's these I'm gonna put a link to this in the description box below each of those three rocks you can make with just this one pack and the mold itself looks like this and I think they're great they're absolutely great I've used this brand of mold before for our tiddly little ones i don't know if you remember me saying that when i got some spare um i make these tiddly little ones and that is this one i'll also put a link in the description box below for where you can get this one from as well i hope you enjoyed this week's video guys if you have please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. If you'd like to help out the Tough Rocks channel with Patreon coffee or something from an Amazon wish list, you'll find those links below as well. Before you leave today, don't forget to subscribe. All that's left for me to say, guys, is keep on rocking, keep on being amazing, and absolutely keep on creating. Ciao for now.